Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to another feature content update video. In this video, we are bringing two quality of life updates to the recurring invoice template to address some hugely demanded community requests. So let's start off with the customer credit option. There's now a new option to automatically apply any existing customer credit that is on an account when the recurring invoice runs. Uh, if there's any overages, then of course, if the, the customer credit uh, applies and there's a balance due, that'll still show on the recurring invoice. Or if there's more customer credit than the balance on the invoice, it will roll over whatever's left uh, to the customer detail page where uh, you've always been able to find it. The second thing, and I think something that's been asked for for quite a while, is the ability to have pending ticket charges be only automatically added based on ticket status. So up until now, just to be clear, no matter what the ticket status was, if you've added any pending ticket charges to a ticket in the recurring invoice processed, it would grab it, whether it was in new status, in progress, uh, invoiced, resolved, didn't matter if it was a pending charge, it went onto the recurring invoice. Now, if you check this box and click in the drop down, you'll see all of your statuses shown. If you just want pending ticket charges grabbed for, I don't know, invoice tickets or any combination thereof, the recurring template will look for tickets in the invoice status in this example and only pull the pending ticket charges from there. Um, so if you want them to only be resolved, just to say it again, now with resolve selected, it will only look at resolved tickets for pending charges and skip any tickets that are in any other status that have pending ticket charges until they're put into the resolve state, they wouldn't be eligible. So once again, two new quality of life additions, this new option here to automatically apply customer credit to the recurring invoice when it generates, and the option to add any pending ticket charges for ticket statuses specified in this dropdown. So these are two hugely community-driven updates. Really appreciate the feedback and the ideas for these. I hope everyone enjoys them, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.